Hi guys, welcome back. It's Don Wazzy here. And today I'm going to be showing you my non-pet Magicka Sorcerer build for the Clockwork City patch. Um, I'm sorry, I, first of all I want to apologise for the late upload. And it did take me a while to test this build out and actually get round to doing the build. So I apologise for that. So without further ado, let's get in, into the build itself. So our fully buffed stats are... We have 45,000 Magicka, 18.6k health, 10k stamina, 2.8, 2,893 spell damage, 45.8% crit, and 961 recovery. All our attribute points are into Magicka. We are a stage 4 vampire, and the boon we are using is the Apprentice. So now I'm going to show you the consumables. We have the potions we are using are Essence of Spell Power, which grant major sorcery, major prophecy, and major intellect, and also give you a chunk of magic back. Um, the food we are using, the primary food we are using is the Buy Food Solitude Salmon Millet Soup, which increases max health by 5,393 and max magicka by 4,936. So if you're having sustain issues, uh, I would recommend either Witch Mother's Brew or Clockwork Citrus Fillet. Just remember that the, the Clockwork City food is rather expensive because it costs perfect raw to make it. So just remember that Witch Mother's Brew is just as good, just slightly less stats. So it's entirely up to you. If you're rich, take the Clockwork Citrus Fillet. If you're not rich, take the Witch Mother's Brew. And we also have Double Bloody Mara to reduce our vampire stage in certain fights and, and in certain places. So, now I'm going to go over the skills. I mean the gear, <laughs> sorry. We have, on the front bar we have a Lightning Staff, uh, a, the Asylum Lightning Staff, which is infused and enchanted with a Shock Enchant. If you don't know what the uh, Asylum lightning staff does every third cast of force shock always always applies the burning concussion and chilled status effect um, you, sh you should cast it every three times within 10 seconds and you'll s basically when it procs you see the visual effect this is a non perfect staff you can use either a fire or a lightning staff um, ideally it would be the perfected staff which would make the rotation 10 times easier and make your sustain 10 times easier but with the with the non-perfected staff it makes your rotation quite difficult because you, your damage over times do drop off at some points when everything when, when you need to reapply everything or you've got a frag and a curse up at the same time um, so and on the back bar we have a Maelstrom Lightning Staff, which is Nernhorned with a Berserker Enchant. Some, I've seen some people using Poisons. Um, just remember that Poisons will give you, will do more damage on a test dummy, on a burst fight. But in a long duration fight, like Trials, um, the Berserker Enchant will come out on top. The monster set we're using is two piece of Lambrus. And the gear the five piece we're using is five necropotent I mean five necropotents. Five Nexus Touch. And on the jewelry we have three piece moon dancer. Everything's divines and everything's enchanted with Max Magica. Well, ideally everything will be divines, but I've got an infused legs. So that's it for the gear. Now I'm gonna go over skills. I'm gonna brush over these quickly, just to not bore anyone. So we have Crystal Fragments, Crushing Shock, Inner Light, Haunting Curse, Bound Aegis, and Shooting Star. This is the front bar, by the way. On the back bar we have Liquid Lightning, Blockade of Storms, Hardened Ward, Mage's Wrath, Bound Aegis, and Thunderous Rage. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna quickly brush over passives, um, so you can skip past this bit. 
So we ha you want to take the Dark Magic, Daedric Summoning and Storm Calling passives, all the Destruction Staff passives, all the Light Armor, um, Medium Armor, Wind Walker passive, Heavy Armor, Resolve, Constitution and Juggernaut passive. That's if you have enough skill points. In Vampire, you're going to want to take Supernatural Recovery, Undeath and Unnatural Resistance. In Fighters Guild, you wanna, you're going to want to take Banish the Wicked. You're going to want to take all the Mages Guild passives, all the Undaunted passives, all the High Elf passives and the Alchemy passives. So now I'm going to go over the Champion points. So relatively similar to my pet build. You love the pet build that I'm using. So I think they're more or less the same. Slight differences. So we have 37 Warlord. 75 Arcanist and 75 in Tenacity, 9 in Shadow Ward and 34 in Tumbling, 28 in Elfborn, 56 in Elemental Expert, 31 in Spell Erosion. We have 40 into Master at Arms and the reason why we're pumping this much in is because a lot of our damage is direct damage. Uh, we only have 2 damage over times. We have 75 points into Thermiturge for the Exploiter passives. Passive. 61 in Ironclad, 17 in Spell Shield. We have 56 in Hardy and Elemental Defender, and 40 in Thick Skinned. And that's it for the champion points. Just remember that these two constellations, uh, the red and the green, are entirely up to you. Uh, they go on personal preference rather than like, like some of that's mathematically proven to be the best. So now I'm going to go over the rotation. You might have a few difficulties like, in getting this rotation because it's slightly, slightly hard to explain. Uh, just remember that your dots are going to fall off at some point. Like when you have to do a heavy attack or something like that, that, that cannot be helped. Um, but in a trial, you're not going to have as much sustain issues because of all the all the buffs and all the buffs and debuffs that are in there that you know like you have worm and elemental drain and um shards and orbs and obviously synergies give you magic back and stuff like that so just keep that in mind so i'm going to try explain the rotation as best as possible but it is kind of hard to explain it's it's very it's a very situational rotation so without heavy attacks, you would be, you would pop a potion, obviously, and then use your ultimate, and then light attack, liquid lightning, light attack, blockade, light attack, curse, and then one, two, three. Obviously, we didn't get a frag, so we'd just go back to reapplying, and then always make sure you do three force pulses. on your front bar and then just reapply your curse every two rotations so look I've got a frag there I've got time for a heavy attack so I can pop that in curse don't need reapplying so I can do three again and then I have, no, I have, I have enough time for a heavy attack so you, you're gonna want a heavy attack when you either don't get a frag propped or your curse is not due to be reapplied so they're frag, but I still need to do another two force pulses and then bang, heavy attack on the back bar. And then obviously reapply my dots. Curse needs reapplying. I've got an ultimate. Obviously I ain't got the sustain. But that's basically the rotation. If you have any questions about it, just leave it in the comments because I know that wasn't very descriptive or all like that. So if you, yeah, so if you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comments or you can join my discord i have a discord channel a facebook channel a twitter channel so you join any one of uh, any one of them social media outlets if you do join discord there's not that many people on there so i could probably easily get back to all your questions if you just want to if you just want to join me on discord and drill me about everything you need to know so anyways sorry for the late upload guys and thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys Bye.